ready to pick a political party. We know what they were doing on that ground and they were planning that if we pick the political party and announce the political party, they will take money down there and hijack the party and will become partyless. So, so we took our time and they've done their worst. They've come together with another coalition, uh, this coalition of the Cup of Sorrow against Nigerians and they have announced it. You cannot even believe uh, that even a party that was formed by Chief Ghani Fawaime, the National Conscious Party, also joined in this uh, shenanigans. So that tells you that they were actually targeting Take It Back in their coalition, uh, hoping that we will join the party and they can go there quickly and take that party away from us and make us become partyless. But the good news is this, people, uh, now they've done their worst, the difference is now very clear between the evil and those who are pretending to be righteous and our own party, uh, our own coalition, which is a coalition of the honest, the coalition of the conscientious, the coalition of the resilient, uh, the coalition of the resistant, that is our coalition, and that coalition is going to be the most powerful coalition in Nigeria's history, made up of energetic, intellectual, intellectually sound, indefatigable young people. That's what our coalition is going to be about. Forget about their coalition. And we're waiting for the APC to form their own coalition too, whatever they want to call it. I have said it, and I should let you know, the expiry date of PDP is today. The expiry date of APC is the day we pick our own coalition and that's going to happen very soon. So we're good and uh, nothing to panic about. Now you cannot trust our judgment when we tell you that uh, we are taking our time because we have underground information that they are targeting us. They want to make sure that we, they, we cannot find a party to run on. That is why they went after NCP. They had thought that we were going to join the NCP and they were going to hijack the NCP from us and make it a part of their coalition. And that would have been it. Uh, but now they have failed completely. We are still going to announce our own party and every Nigerian with conscience will go to that party with us and we will defeat both the PDP, the People Deceiving People and the APC the association of past criminals all of them are up for destruction and decimation in the next election so please keep your uh, guards on do not allow yourself to be distracted we are good to go we are very good we're in good shape and nothing to worry about as i have mentioned to you this is the reason why we were not in a hurry to announce the party we knew they were planning something and this is the worst they can do uh, I'm sure that there's some NCP chieftains who are going to come out and denounce their chairman. But he has already done a serious damage to that brand, the National Conscience Party. It is an anathema for a party that Chief Ghani Fawemi, a coalition formed by the PDP or led by the PDP. Ghani Fawemi must be turning in his grave. I'm happy that all of you, even without hearing from me, have condemned this latest coalition. This is a coalition that is going to bring more sorrow and hardship to Nigerians. Please, if you have not joined Twitter, go and join Twitter and just do hashtag take it back today. You know, if you have not joined us on Facebook, join us, take it back. Let's ensure that we throw away the crap that PDP is about to foist on Nigerians through their cup of sorrow. What they form today is their own way of ganging up and robbing Nigeria again. These guys are a gang of thieves. PDP is made up of gang of thieves. Very soon you will hear that Bukola Saraki has joined them. You will hear that you know, all of these despicable characters are going to PDP. It's going to become the coalition of the most despicable people you can find within Nigeria's politics. And it doesn't matter what happens, they are going to go back and hijack the Nigerian treasury and destroy the country. Very So we have a duty to take it back from them, take it back from PDP, 
and a cup of sorrow coalition i take it back also from apc uh, today is good great day for us it's good news for us today is great day for us it's good news for us that a gang of thieves have formed their coalition and they have shown their face even the ones that are pretending to be righteous have not joined the pdp there is no reformed apc all of apc is deformed we cannot reform a bad product so they just want to use this opportunity to lie to nigerians and fool the naive nobody's fooled pdp and this is what we'll be saying the pdp and apc are one and the same that's why it's so easy for them for an apc section to join pdp and this was what pdp did in 2014 they split into two one part joined apc and the other part uh, remain in pdp doing what they do bribing judges uh, rigging elections assassinating opponents this is the only thing they know how to do but we are on to defeating this very dangerous ideology of very greedy dishonest and wicked politicians we must make sure that they are defeated and they are finally defeated abandoned because they have become discredited no, I'm not doing campaigns as of Nigeria. I'm campaigning to Nigeria from all over the world. You know, the guys who are here, the guys who are at home, they are all Nigerians. You are all Nigerians and we must reach out to all Nigerians. When Nigeria wanted to fight for independence, it went all over the world to look for Nigerians who are conscious, and who are determined and who are intellectually sound. It assembled them together, Zeke, went to school here in the U.S. Obafemi Awolo was schooled in London and a lot of the great guys that got independence for us, people that we call founding fathers of Nigeria uh, were people who lived abroad. So there's no crime visiting Nigerians wherever they are. And as you know, I have and our team has visited Nigerians everywhere in the world. We visited them in places as far and remote as Jalingo. We visited Nigerians in places as far as and remote as Yola, Joss, we've been to Oweri, Wari, Bini, we've been to villages, we've been to places you cannot even believe we can ever go to. So we are doing the same reaching out to Nigerians in the diaspora. Some of them, by the way, are eligible voters. They have come home registered and uh, also uh, want to make sure that they've come back and vote in the election so most of them have told us that they'll come home those who haven't registered they'll come home and register and those who have registered they'll come home and vote so it'd be great to have more people just come join and i heard that INEC is going to stop registration in august this is unconscionable INEC has been trying to close down the registration system for a while because they've realized that a lot of nigerians who are new brand new in this business are registering. We are opposed to INEC shutting down the registration process uh, in August. INEC must allow the registration process to continue until December. That is when most Nigerians would have registered and would have collected their, uh, their uh, PVCs. We are opposed. We are opposed to INEC closing down the registration uh, soon. Please uh, share this video all over the place. Share with your friends and followers we want people to know that the latest coalition set up by pdp is a coalition of sorrow is the cup of sorrow that's how i describe it and we must defeat it share this video to all share this video to all share to your friends let your friends see it let your friends know that today is a great day for us it's good news because pdp has just shot itself in the foot by setting up a coalition of gang of thieves and we are going to ensure that we take our country back from pdp and take it back from apc they have formed themselves into an acronym known as cop and as a cup of sorrow we must let the cup of sorrow pass we should be thanking we should be thanking our stars that we didn't we didn't jump into announcing a party i don't know how you guys would have felt today if one of the parties we chose or we were about to choose had featured prominently in pdp's uh, coalition of the greedy and coalition of robbers they formed today i don't know how you guys would have felt about it um, you don't have to worry our party is coming 
I will be fine. We will be fine. Yes, come and ask me. That's a brother here. I'm live streaming to the world. Do you have a question for me? Yeah. Go ahead, ask the question. Are you from testing for president? Yes. For Nigeria? Yes. What's your name? I'm an excuse. Are you from Nigeria? No. I guess yeah. so. Yeah. You just saw it. Yeah. yeah. Which country are you from? Oh, Latina. Well, this is going to be good for the whole of Africa now. Yeah. We're going to have a Nigeria president that is solid. And that will be good for Liberia, it'll be good for Syria, it'll be good for South Africa, it'll be good for Egypt, Morocco, Algeria, Tunisia, Mauritania, Senegal, it'll be good for Ghana, it'll be good for Benin, Congo, Brazzaville, Congo, Kinshasa, everywhere will be happy in Africa because we're about to integrate Africa and we're going to make Africa continent one solid united continent, the same way they have the United States of America. And we all can stop hanging around. So, uh, sorry, I was distracted there. That's a, a, a Liberian brother who just came to greet us. He's just saying, he's just riding his bike by me and said, you know, he came and asked if I was contesting for president of Nigeria. So, already the entire African continent is aware that the hurricane is coming. Uh, you know, so thank you so much. Uh, no, so we don't have to declare now. We are declaring very soon, but don't be in a hurry, don't worry. It's better to declare for a party that you trust can be a party that will not sell out than to go declare for a party that is talking to you during the daytime and is moonlighting with the PDP at night, right? So, yes, yeah, so I'll be home soon, and I hope to see all of you when I get home. And when I come home and I'm working very hard and traveling very hard, don't tell me to go rest, you know, because, you know, the energy is there. <laughs> the energy and the stamina to defeat the old guys and the gang of thieves is there. We will beat these guys hands down. Even Buhari, as terrible as he is, he declared his membership of a party October 2014, I think. And he became a candidate nominated, he was nominated in December and he won the election. So we have plenty of time. Let's just keep building our movement. Our, let's keep building our movement, our take it back movement. The movement is the most important thing. And the moment we have a movement, we will defeat any coalition of parties. You know, any coalition of criminal politicians. Their end is coming next year and they know it. That's why they are running around desperately trying to form coalition. This is the same PDP that I used to claim my, that is the biggest party in Africa. You find the biggest party in Africa now looking for smaller parties, briefcase parties to form coalition with. You know that there's problem now. They have come to realize that they are in trouble. <laughs> they have come to realize that they are in trouble. We are going to sink PDP and APC Titanic all of them like i said if you see a party that I used to claim five years ago that is the biggest coalition is the biggest party in africa now running around looking for people to join coalition of briefcase parties you know that pdp itself has ruined itself <laughs>